rapper. Everybody keeps saying we Dallas. Yeah. That shit is a lie. Dallas ain't shit. It, it ain't, fam. This city ain't never been shit when it came to rap. Nigga, how this niggas is Post Malone and Vanilla Ice? Let's stop playing, bruh. If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while DJ revolves it. Post Malone and Vanilla, yeah, vanilla Ice. Ice. I'm not knocking nobody in the city, bruh. But I hate when niggas say, hey, let's all come together and do this and do that. Bruh, we've tried over and over and over again. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah, Cause the nigga get on there, soon as something over, like laughing or anything, niggas gonna be like, man, you know, I never seen so many memes when this man, yeah. I was not against him winning, bro. Nah, me I actually neither. was like, damn, you know, hopefully this nigga can bring it home for Dallas. I felt that way too. I felt like, man, hopefully this nigga can bring it home for Dallas. But like I said, when it comes down to the sport, and to the money end of it, if a nigga says go, we got 20 bands right now, I feel like in just the sport of box, it's like with the, with the Cowboys versus another team. If you know that team finna beat the Cowboys, it is what it is. That's how I felt with this. I said, man, Crawford, I feel like this nigga got a little bit more, man. I just feel like he a little more dangerous. When we looked up and I seen Big X the plug walk Earl Spence out. That was dope, I like that. But when I looked up and seen that white boy Eminem come out, it was over with. <laughs> I, the nigga lost in my mind right there. When you look up and see Eminem was coming out with Bud, it was a nigga. They show where they minds was at. Yeah. They show they, they, that they mind. Right. That. He thinking about the local shit, putting the city on. This nigga thinking about nigga. I'm finna take over the world, nigga. You know what I mean, you feel I me? Mean? Fuck Omaha, nigga. I'm finna, I'm finna show the world, nigga. Brought Eminem with him. So yeah. to me, I just felt like, man, you know, man. You know what I mean? Um, Hats off to it, man. You know what Earl should have came out to though? What? what? Earl should came out to that goddamn Mo Three, that outside. He should have came out to that Mo3, to that outside. You may tell you why? Because it would have showed, everybody in the world don't know what's going on in Dallas, but it would have just showed the city that, oh man, nigga. Oh man, he on some different time at night, nigga. You know what I mean? We outside. He should have came, Earl Spence, you should have came out to that Mo3, Damn. fam. Come out to that Mo3. Big X the plug still with us. You know what I mean? He, you know what I mean? He, he, he popping, he'll be around for a while, I'm sure. But you should have came out to Mo3, Earl Spence. I ain't gonna lie, fam. It would have set a different tone. It would have set a different tone. Yeah, especially for the city. You know what I mean? You could have still had Trap Witchy, Yellow, Big X the plug. Everybody walked you out there with that Mo3 plan. That would have showed. Because everybody always talking about this Unity shit, right? But you know this niggas only want Unity when it comes to, they, to, they, to what they want. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> niggas, you know what I mean? Oh, y'all didn't support Earl Spence. Niggas, what about the niggas who all laugh when Mo3 died? You know, how, 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 the niggas, all, niggas all put them on shirts and laughed had a great time. But now y'all want to be upset because Earl Spence lost. But this nigga died. And a lot of niggas sit around and laugh at that shit. So at the end of the day, what I'm saying is, Dallas, let's yeah. not be picky. Let's all stand together on everything, not just what the fuck you niggas want. That's what I'm seeing. Niggas yeah. only want you to be Dallas when it comes to the shit they like. Like, nah, if we're going to be Dallas, the same niggas that's upset Earl Spencer Everything lost. Everything Dallas. Be upset that Mo3 is dead. That's all I'm saying. If, if we Dallas. Remember, everybody keeps saying we Dallas. Yeah. That shit is a lie. Dallas ain't shit. It ain't, it ain't, fam. This city ain't never been shit when it came to rap. Nigga, how this niggas is Post Malone and Vanilla Ice? Let's stop playing, bruh. If there was a problem, yo, yo I'll solve it. Check out the hook while DJ revolves it. Ice, ice, Post Malone and Vanilla, man, vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice. I'm not knocking nobody in the city, bruh, but I hate when niggas say, hey, let's all come together and do this and do that. Bruh, we've tried over and over and over again. I come from the, let's get something straight. I'm from the old school in Dallas, right? I'm not, I'm not one of these new niggas, fam. I, I was the first nigga ever to put Dallas on world star hip hop. Damn. You feel me? I, I come from the old school in, in, in this business. And I've always watched Dallas niggas want that opportunity. Like Houston got it. But when niggas get it, they don't really do nothing with it. You know what I'm saying? It's, always, it's always your own city against you. When I was in it, in it, like for instance, when I was doing shit out here in Dallas, right? I'm helping niggas out. I'm hanging posters for niggas. I'm doing A&R work for niggas. I'm rapping, doing my thing. It took niggas from Houston to come down here and peep games. This nigga a hustler. Come back with us. Damn. Dallas niggas just watched me. They say shit. They was all worried about their own shit. A Houston nigga came down here. And before I even got down with Lil, before I signed with Lil Flip, Big Red and, and Michael Watts from Swisher House had me running around with Lil Young doing shows and shit. So even before I was with Flip, I was running around with Swisher House for a minute. So, I mean, I'm not for sure what it is about Houston where they got so many stars and they so together like that. But in Dallas, nigga, we have nothing like that. And I grew up in Houston working with Lil Flip and them niggas. And I was always jealous of the, you know what I mean, of the, uh, the, unity. the unity they got out there. Bro, that unity is crazy crazy fam mm -hmm. you come back out here bro the, the djs to the size of towns to the hoods everybody got their own shit 
You feel me? Nobody really fucks with this nigga, but that you nigga, think this nigga. Because the radio don't really just play the local music on the level they do down in Houston, because they play the hell out their music down there. Well, I'm going to say this. Even remember, about, you, you name niggas like DJ Screw and certain, oh man, yeah. they don't even matter. Even if the radio was going to play them niggas, the underground they scene, play they were going to still play it regardless. Okay. Bumping out the trunks, the bazaars, they was going to still play that shit regardless. And that's how Lil Flip came up. You know what I mean? He came on the game. Underground tape. Selling them bitches out the trunk. Going everywhere with it. And the city standing with him. Supporting him. You know what I mean? He got the whole screwed up clique behind him. He got this and that. He would come to Dallas and get more love in Dallas than a nigga who rapped from Dallas would get. Mm, you feel me? Yeah, I ain't never seen Mr. Lucci and Mr. Pookie get the kind of love that Flip would get when he would come out here. So that's just how it is. And why? Because everything is cut off. These niggas over here don't fuck with them niggas over there. Them niggas over there don't fuck with them niggas. Them, them niggas over there, you know what I mean? That's how Dallas is, they bro. Built it up that way. That's how it is. I hate it. It's like that, bro. But we're going to be honest. Let's be honest, bro. How can we fix it? it ain't no fucking way to fix it, nigga. This shit is over with. <laughs> next <laughs> lifetime, like Erica Badu said. You know what I mean? yeah, it's over <laughs> with. You say the next lifetime. Yeah, man, I won't live to see it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I won't live to see it, bro. I so won't live to see how it. How big would it be if Big X to plug put a group of niggas together to do a, somewhat of a semi Remix to We From Texas. I've been thinking about that. Man, they need a Mo 3 verse on that bitch. <laughs> yeah, they need to go to Rainwater and be like, Mo 3 on that. For real. Bro, Man, that's, they're a, they're that's the only thing that can hit. The only thing that's gonna uh, heal some wounds, bro, is for some niggas to come out and say that man is yeah. gone. And yeah, we and we, you know, what I mean, because Trap Boy Freddie missed the shit out of Mo Three. He just won't say it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean, when I say he missed him, I mean, yeah, he might have some beef in the street. Shit might have been did like this and like that. But when he look at the entertainment game, he like, damn, bro. When that nigga was here, we was all turning the fuck up. You know what I mean? And Trap Boy, Yella, Mo3, Go Yayo, man, that was it. When Go Yayo come on, they gonna change the temperature? Can man, I don't I know, mean, man. I mean, Twisted Black just came home. Yeah. I don't know how it's gonna change the temperature or if he, he's still even rapping. I heard a, a little bit of Skibbit or something with uh, Vega, Smooth Vega. Yeah, Smooth Vega. Smooth Vega. I, heard, I heard a little, little bit of music, but like, when Go Yayo comes home, will that do anything for the hip hop? Uh, I mean, I don't, I, I can't say, man. Go Yayo is kind of a wild nigga. You know what I mean? All over the place with it. I don't know, man. I, I know one, at one point in time, like I said, Dallas had a good look. You know what I mean? Dallas had all them young niggas from 03 to Go Yayo to, uh, you know what I mean? To uh, to uh, Yellow Bees, to the Trap, to all them cats, but they had a squad, bro. You know what I mean? Dream Team, Four Headed Monster. That's where it went wrong, bro. You know what I mean? Had, we had that lineup we've been looking for. We had them niggas who could all did their thing on different levels, but now that's dead. That's gone. Mo3 dead. Uh, Trap Boy Freddy, you know, he got a case. To look like he might be getting ready to go sit down. Yellow Beezy, I mean, he, he he cold as ice. You know what I mean? His, his shit ain't hitting like that no more. Not knocking him. The nigga could put some records together. You know what I mean? But right now, that shit ain't coming off like it was. Um, big X the plug popping right now, but for how long? You know what I mean? That's a big fat ass nigga. He ain't no Diddy behind him. You know what I mean? Like you, you, did. <laughs> you get what I'm saying, fam. You get what I'm saying. I get it, you, but you, you, you what I'm saying. Come on. Yeah, but if I'm an A&R, we in the room. Look, look what we doing here? We got this big ass nigga. He rap decent. You know what I mean? But what we gonna do with him, fam? Let's see. You know I mean, we, let's let's do something with him. You, know you, I mean? you know how you you been in the rooms. I've been in the rooms. I've been in the meetings. I know what's going on. <laughs> so you know what I mean, I, I do. I like Big X. Yes, I like Big X to play. I think the nigga jamming, bro. You did, but can he take us to that worldwide level? I'm not for sure. But do I like Big X? I like Big X to play. I like a lot of niggas in Dallas, bro. I am a fan of Dallas rappers. I'm just not a fan of niggas' attitude and, and you know what I mean the way they, they they treat the business outside. You know what I mean. Uh, or when they treat the, the way they treat other niggas in Dallas in this business. Yeah. Because niggas will go out of town and show love by verses, you know what I mean? People come to town. You notice, I'll never forget one day, I was doing the 97.9 freestyle battle back in the day. Super K, head crack, Kills Kino. I'm up there killing shit. I win the battle. They say Ludacris is on his way upstairs. You know what I mean? He finna do an interview. I'm, I'm turned the fuck out here. This Luda fam, this is it. They make me leave the room. They put me out. They don't want you they to put see me it. out. They, they make me go out the back door. Go downstairs. Yeah, Luda coming up here. I'm like, y'all, let me. Let me try I just, I just, I, right? I just killed them. That's how Dallas is, bro. When, when people come to Dallas, man, Dallas really don't. Really don't. They don't show me? love to Dallas. Yeah, like I said, I'm from the old school. I don't want to hear no young, young niggas telling me shit. I mean, I, I've been here since back in the day, fam. I've been here. So I watched this shit. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.